Hey everybody. <laughs> Peace and blessings, you guys. Wow. <laughs> Peace and blessings, you guys. This is Ashante of Gemini Holistics. And this is going to be your general reading for this week, which is November 5th through the 11th. So, I'm going to actually yep, let everybody get in. Hello, Valerie. Hey, Patricia. Hi, Michael. I'm just going to give everybody a second to get in here. Try and invite some people. Yes. It's been a long weekend, <laughs> but I'm here. <laughs> in spite of everything. It's been actually a good, pretty, a pretty good weekend. Um, went out and supported the Harvest Fest, which was an event that uh, one of my good friends, Sabrina, put on. Um, and it was a really good situation. It was a lot of fun meeting up with some people in person and seeing them and doing some readings, which was wonderful. Um, yeah, so if you're in the Boston area and you, you know, want to do um, live readings with me, in-person readings, let me know. Definitely reach out. Um, I have some opportunities coming up that will make that more available for different people uh, coming up soon. So, Hi, Wendy. How you doing, girl? Hi, Dale. Hi, Murray. Alright, so we got a couple people in here, which is awesome. I'm actually going to pull from my, um, ooh, <laughs> I'm going to pull from my angel deck today. Is this lighting okay? Because let me just try and see if it's good. I need to fix this situation a little bit better, but we'll get through it. Hello, Arlen. All right. So I'm just clear this space. There's a little Florida water. Put on an incense. Hold on. Can I put on an incense right now? Because do I have my... Oh, I know I didn't sit down without my lighter. Hold on, y'all. I'm going to be right back. <laughs> Give me some fire going, cause you know I need a little fire. Hopefully, this uh, candlestick will have some acrite in its system. Thank you. Is that so hard, candles? Is that so hard? And it still fell over. It's that bitch, lights are running. <laughs> All right. So, let's get these incense going. Like I said, so I'm going to be using the Angel Oracle for you guys this week. And we're going to do something special at the end. I know I owe you guys some different readings and different stuff. So I'm going to try and come through because I have a little time off this week. So I'm going to try and catch up on some of the videos for everyone. All of our elements are here. Get some of the ancestors in here. Ashe. All right. All right, we good. We good. Yes. Okay, so let's do this angel reading for you guys for this week. Again, like I said, November 5th through the 11th. I love it. Ooh. 
Alright, so let's clear off these cards and get our stuff open. Call upon Archangel Mikael, Uriel, Raphael, and Gabriel to be in the four corners to cleanse and clear this space. I'm going to open up a divine line of communication, guide up with your source and spirit. All negative energies and entities, you're going to show four corners now. You're not welcome here. Ashe. Please give me a weekly reading for November 5th. Through the 11. Okay. Oh, wow. Had some extra cards pop on out of the deck. Excuse that. And I'm going to actually pull an extra. Ooh, I just broke that. Bang, bang. So, always break it. <laughs> um, crystal. I'm going to pull from the Crystal Oracle deck. For our extra emphasis card for this week. So, Crystal Oracle, can you please give us an extra emphasis card for. Ooh, yeah, all right. <laughs> an extra emphasis card for this week. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, let's see what's going on here for you guys. Interesting, interesting things, interesting things, okay? So, for the beginning of the week, we have the card that comes up here is Chakra Clearing. And that is funny because Chakras is on my mind. While I was thinking about doing this reading earlier, I was like, I need a Chakra deck or something because I feel like some Chakra energy needs to go on. So, Chakra Clearing, it says, Archangel Metatron, call upon me to clear and open your chakras using sacred geometric shapes. So, at the beginning of the week, it's upright. So, a lot of you are going to be working on some chakra clearing, working on moving around the energy, moving out some of the old stagnant energy that's been going on. I know I definitely need to get down to doing some meditation that I've kind of been putting off lately. Um, spirit is definitely pulling us into more of a spiritual space. The new moon is coming up. There's a lot of energies around that. So, well, you know, does it come up already? Or whatever. I got to check my moon phases. I do know that there is a full moon in Gemini middle which was the end of the month and that's going to be popping so wait till the end of the reading so i'm going to give you guys some more information about that and some different things that we have going on as well concerning the moon cycles but like i was saying to you guys so chakra clearing comes up at the beginning of the week so this is a good time to start to like i said do meditation practices bring in your yoga start focusing on your inner world um I really feel like this is a time to like clear out old stuff that's just really been kind of like clinging and lingering on for a lot of people. Um, a lot of us have gone through a lot of transformation during this retrograde, which will be shoring itself up towards the end of the week. Um, I think it's complete. I think uh, Venus goes direct like next week, sometime next week. Um, so it's starting to close off. It's starting to end off. So the energy may, you may have just gone through a lot of like tumultuous energies inside of that period. And there's a little bit of damage that was probably done to the energy body or the light body. And some need to do some repairs on an inside of that energy. So just make sure you tend to your energy body, um, you know, play frequencies, different sound therapy techniques. You can use color therapy. Crystal therapy is always an amazing thing to use. For chakra clearing, Reiki is another amazing thing to use for chakra clearing. Really getting your mind right about these energies and different situations and different things that are going on in that space for you. So I see a lot of you making efforts and striving towards more higher levels of your own awareness in the beginning of the week. Okay, so the second card that we have coming up is kind of more towards the middle of the week. Um, probably around Wednesday, Thursday energy, and it's crystal clear intention, and it's, and it's Archangel Mikael. Be clear about what you desire and focus upon it with unwavering faith. 
um, it's inverted. So there does need to be some work that's done towards the middle of the week where you are focusing your intentions inward. Um, being clear about what it is that you do want. Um, you know, getting really direct and intentional about the wording that you're using. Using wording that's going to indicate that things are moving, things are maneuvering, things are shifting. Um, so there may be a wavering in some people's faith at this particular point, which is completely normal. Everybody goes through doubts and has energies where, you know, we just sometimes I feel, feel like, you know, okay, why am I doing this for? <laughs> why are we going through this? I'm not seeing the strides that I want to see inside of my life personally, um, financially, relationship-wise, whatever areas may be the struggle, or maybe all areas may be a struggle for you. Um, and this can cause insecurities and self-doubt and negative thought processes. But really, if we can sit down and focus inward, really take inventory of what the blocks are, how can we start making some movements towards addressing those energies and getting very direct about what it is that you do want. A lot of times I notice that it's hard for people to kind of accept what they need from life or accept um, what they desire from their realities around them and with other people. Um, the relationship between you and the divine is a give and take relationship. You put in energy and effort and you also receive energy and, and um, you know, gifts and blessings in different situations like that. Um, so don't just think that spirit work is just a one-sided thing of you just doing all of this work and it's intense and it's in its highest intensity and all of this energy where you're not receiving anything back. You are going to be able to reap benefits. It's just going to be about how aligned you are in receiving that. So a lot of times people are misaligned in being able to open up and receive energy and receive space and be direct. Hey, these are the things that I want. These are the things that I need. And so sometimes writing it down or like... <sighs> Spelling it out for yourself, writing it down in petitions or um, writing out intention settings with different intention setting ceremonies, different types of things like that can really help you get focused on what it is that you desire, okay? Because a lot of you are not clear about that. And it's a lot of negative doubt and like negative self-talk and pessimism. As I said, that the flame grew. So somebody needs to really hear that message because it's like, pshh. Like, you need to burn that out. Burn that negativity out because it's no longer serving you. It's not doing anything positive for you. And honestly, at the end of the day, in the long run, you're going to be better off if you can just begin to control or manage some of your thought process with positive thinking. Okay? So, here we go towards the weekend. Friday energy. We have victory come up, and that's good news. Archangel Sandalfin, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So whatever you were doubting, the situation alleviates itself. So like I said, there's no real need to even have that <laughs> unnecessary level of doubt or unnecessary level of um, worry or anxiety about things because it looks like things really do turn out the way that you wanted them to. So probably after you got clear about what it was that you wanted or you got into, you know, your intentions and really dug down deep and did some inner work on yourself and released some of that negative thought processing and that uh, those negative um, thoughts, you really were able to come through and, you know, get your whole life together because whoever is looking for some positive news, um, positive news around jobs, relationships, moves, money different situations like that, there's going to be some things that's moving, but I see a lot of long-term stuff. So um, people who've been working for a very long time on specific projects, um, these types of things will begin to shift and change for you. Maybe um, if you've been like looking or apartment hunting for a while or like house hunting for a while and you know, you put in an offer or put in a bid or put in an application to get a certain space, some of you will be hearing positive things back or positive movements forward back in those areas, um, business moves, different situations like that. Um, some of you will be having some personal victories inside of relationships, um, awareness of yourself, becoming a little bit more grounded 
and what you see for yourself. It's just a lot of different things. Um, Somebody needs to do some heart chakra work. And that heart chakra work is actually going to come into fruition around this time. So at the beginning of the week, if the chakra that you were focused on, what, focusing on was your heart chakra. That's the energy that's coming up there. Okay. So we have another card. Normally I pull three cards per week, but another card wanted to pop its own head up and just say, hey, what's going on? So I'm going to read it. Um, Patience, Archangel Jophiel, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience. So that doubt that you were having in the middle of the week, that self-doubt or that ugh, like negative thought processing or whatever it was that was going on there, that's going to, um, you know, fade. There is going to be some go signs that come up for you, but there's still going to be some patience that's required. But this go sign looks like it gives you a little bit of strength to have some patience inside of, you know, the whole process of waiting for things to bloom. You're going to have to nurture still nurture some situations and things that are going on so it doesn't maybe not think things don't all the way fully resolve to where you want it to be but progress is made okay so progress is always important for our crystal card for this week we have pink tourmaline which is forgiveness is inverted and I find this very interesting because the bottom of the deck here is the Ancestors card, okay? So there's somebody who does need to do some forgiveness work around family issues. Um, it's probably going to come up for a lot of people. Forgiveness around parental energies, forgiveness around, you know, different family energies or things that were handed down through generations or situations around that. If you can start to release some of that energy, it's really going to benefit you because it looks like it's a hard thing to move forward from. And that's understandable. And again, like I always tell everybody, forgiveness is not about the other person. It's about you. No longer holding on to whatever it is that was holding you back from those situations. And it's not necessarily that whoever you forgive, you have to, you know, just automatically love up on and want to be up underneath. Some people you got to forgive and you leave them in the past and never deal with them again because you know that their energy isn't good for you or their energy is toxic or their energy isn't helpful and it doesn't change that because you forgive them. The forgiveness process is really more about opening that heart chakra, which I was talking about earlier. So there's a lot of energy coming in this week around, you know, removing some of those blocks or those negative obstacles, but it looks like things do pan out in the long run for a lot of you, but it's just going to be a little bit of some energies coming in that may test you a bit. So overall, it looks like it's a good energy week, um, a lot of good things, a lot of progress being made, um, and I hope that, you know, a lot of these messages resonated for you guys. So, like I said, thank you so much for waiting till the end. Don't go nowhere because I definitely have some extra information that I want to share with you guys. So, um, I have made a post a couple of, like, I think it was last week, a week ago, around a week ago. And I have made a post about, like, you know, we need full moon support groups because this last full moon came from my entire life. Yes, yeah, that's how I know the new moon is coming up. So it is a good time to send attention. <laughs> Sometimes you just be doing so much you forget. But anyway, um yeah, so this last full moon was some really intense energy and a lot of people like hit me up personally and we're talking about it and we were like, duh, what 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 was that? What was that? Um so we decided to do I decided to start a group where in where um, I will be creating full moon ceremonies and rituals as long with a couple of other administrators or volunteers who will be helping to put theirs together as well. Um, I'll basically be sharing and doing a reading probably and all of this other stuff inside of that group. So if you guys want the information for that, definitely inbox me or reach out to me um, and you can join our group um, and we'll be doing 
doing some really dope healing work and some really insightful and educational energy around the full moons and how to manage them, how to navigate them, what each one's energy will be. Um, so I'll be starting that one with the Gemini <laughs> full moon that's coming up. How be fitting, right? I do the first one and it's in Gemini. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, so make sure you guys reach out for that. Also, if you guys want personal readings um, on different situations, definitely don't forget to go to my website, Gemini Holistics, G-E-M-I-N-E-Y-E Holistics.com slash services. And you can go on over to the services um, part of the website and you'll be able to see all the different types of readings that we do, the services that we offer, including spiritual coaching, holistic health work, Reiki, um past life work um to all types of different readings relationship readings soulmate reading chakra readings because some of y'all need to work on your chakras or readings ancestral readings all types of stuff okay so hopefully you guys will go on over there and check that out as well if this is on youtube don't forget to like share and subscribe um make sure that you guys are liking um this video right now uh sharing it with whoever you know think it'll benefit and you know moving forward from there darling all right so i want to do um a quick one card pull for four people I'll do a quick one card pull for four people just now. So if you want a one card reading or one card check in, comment down below and let me know if you guys want a goddess reading, an angel reading or a crystal reading. So comment down below goddess, angel or crystal based on which one that you want. And I will pull one card from that deck for you. Okay. <sighs> Who's tired? I'm tired. <laughs> hey, my yells tired. I was tired. Okay, Leticia. <laughs> Parish girl. Hey, girl, boo. You want a reading? Let me know which deck you want. Crystal goddess or angel. Okay, Polly wants angel. I need one more person who wants a goddess, angel, or crystal reading. Okay, Jamar. You got Angel. All right. Okay, darling. All right. If you didn't get to get on for the one card reading, don't worry. You guys can always go to my website. But the personal reading, like I said, GeminiHolistics.com slash services. And you guys can also always, you know, just come on and check in because you never know when I'm going to do a live one card pull for y'all. Okay. All right, darlings. So let's start with Leticia. Or Leticia, excuse me, baby. You just, when you read so many clients, all the names. It's too, it's too many names. And you know, I love my people. But our names, our names be from everywhere. <laughs> And it don't never just be like how it's spelled. I appreciate that when your name is how it's spelled, though. Because my name isn't. <laughs> and I confuse people. Well, my name is how it's spelled. If it's spelled with the accent mark. But, you yeah, know. Neither here nor there. Alright, so. Let's get this goddess going. Please give me a one card pull for Latia. Okay, right. hey, Latia, you got Orakura, which is blossoming. It says you are just getting started, so have patience with yourself and the process and do not give up. So some of that energy around keeping your faith up was definitely directed for, towards you, okay? You're going through a process where things are going to shift for you. Things are healing. Things are changing. Things are moving and maneuvering for you. Um, and you just need to have some more insight and some more faith um, around those particular situations. Um, just be patient with the process. Don't allow any self-doubt or negative self-talk to kind of get in the way of maneuvering and moving through these situations. But good 
good things are coming up for you. It does look like you're moving into higher levels of your own awareness. You might be getting in touch with your own femininity in new and exciting ways. Um, really connecting with nature or connecting with um, plant life or herbs or different types of energy, floral energies or things of that nature. Um, those energies may help you to, you know, navigate or understand different aspects of yourself. Um, but yeah, you're going to be moving into different spaces. So don't give up on your own intentions, whatever they may be around. Don't give up on the process, even though it may seem like sometimes there are some blocks that do come up, but they're being addressed and you're moving forward and you're healing them and you're doing that in an effective way. So that's beautiful. Okay. All right. Angel for Polly. Hello, Polly. <laughs> I'm weird as that. <laughs> All right. Please give me a one card pull for Polly. Sensitivity. So you haven't been journaling. <laughs> um, sensitivity, Archangel Hanio. You're extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor your um, self and your feelings. Um, so whatever is going on for you energetic-wise, you do need to take some time and check in with your emotional self. Um, journaling is definitely a big thing right now. So if you can make some time to start journaling, you can make some time to really go inside and look at what's going on inwardly for yourself, that would be extremely helpful for you and your energies as they're kind of maneuvering um, at this current present moment in different new and exciting ways. Um, your emotions may be a little on guard or you may even... Oh, excuse me. You may even have not be able to access fully what your feelings are around certain things. You may be feeling a little disconnected or like, you know, you're at odds with your own emotions um, in certain types of ways. Again, like I said, it's going to be really important that you do some inward self-reflecting and journaling is going to be a really big key to really healing whatever that is. So... Some of the inner work that you need to do is around those things, okay? Got another angel. Okay. Tanya. All right. Jamar. Please give me a one card pull for Jamar. Divine order. Archangel Bogwheel. Everything is how it needs to be right now. Look past the illusion and see the underlying order. So there may be things that you feel like aren't working out the way that you want them to. Um, just really know that it's there are greater things at work here than just your own personal will at this particular moment. Spirit's guiding you through some situations or different things that you need to go through in order for you to be able to sustain and move into the next phases of your own life and your own reality inside of that. So as these situations are going on and as these things are opening up and healing and shifting and moving for you, um, just be aware that things are going to navigate or work out the way that you need them to, excuse me, excuse the sirens, in the long run, because as those things shift and as those things um, navigate and as they will change in the long run, then you will be able to navigate much better and you'll see why you had to go through these particular things at this point or at this juncture in your life currently, okay? Also see an energy... There's some type of ancestral energy around you um, that is helping you through these times. Um, so I don't know if you've been doing ancestral work or ancestral connection, but there's an ancestor that's making themselves 
present. I'm not sure if it's male or female. If you want to know more, hit me up. I'll do a personal reading for you on that if you're interested. Um, but yeah, make sure you're taking care of your health too. Because if the challenge is in the health area, you need to pay attention to what you eat, how you're living, stress levels, stuff like that. Okay, Jamar? All right. Latanya gets a goddess reading. Please give me a one card pull for the time. For the time. All right. So, yeah. That forgiveness card was for you, sis. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go to the beginning of the reading and make sure you go and check out the full weekly reading that we were talking about. But. Here we have the card, which is Athena, which is inner wisdom. It says, you know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. It's inverted. So there's some things that you're not trusting about your own intuition that you know that you need to do in order to move forward. Um, you're not trusting the guidance that Spirit's been giving to you intuitively and the pulls that's been given on your heart um, inside of your emotions and how things are flowing for you in that space. Maybe you've been isolating yourself from other people or situations in order to avoid some level of pain or emotional dependence or codependence with somebody. Or there just may have been like a, a lack of communication or things cut, being kind of cut off from different specific spaces inside of yourself. But I feel like over the next couple of you know, days throughout this week, you may be able to experience some energy that's shifting around those areas for you if you allow yourself to follow your intuition. It's really important. I always go through this with a lot of my clients. There is a space inside of you that knows what you need to do in a lot of situations, and there's really no such thing as confusion. There is only answers that we don't really wish to receive, so therefore we choose to dwell in that space of what we call confusion. Um around those things so if you haven't been able to access your intuition because you've been so busy or there have been a lot of things pulling on your time make sure you make some space to do that in the interval because whatever hurt or pain that has been going on for you Latanya, whatever that um energy is that needs to be released it could have been new pain or it could be things that are around old pain definitely probably a relationship or some type of energy with family or energies around that stuff but there definitely needs to be some healing heart chakra work definitely would be helpful for you in those particular endeavors okay all right dear so that uh these are our one car pulls i'm actually gonna go ahead and do some soulmate readings right after this so if you are a Vir a cancer join me cancer i'm going to do cancer through virgo okay soulmate readings just now following so if you guys want to check back in if you're cancer leo or virgo i'm going to be doing a soulmate reading for you guys for the month of november just now all right so make sure you guys like i said go on over to our youtube page gemini holistics Make sure you get subscribed to us there. We're going to have some giveaways, some more pick a cards coming up through the week. Make sure you go to facebook.com slash Gemini Holistics because there will also be J-E-M-I-N-E-Y-E Holistics. There will also be some pick a cards coming up that I will be posting throughout the week. Um, and I hope you guys have an amazing week and you get through whatever it is. It looks like things are going to be shifting for the best and the better a lot soon, a lot sooner than a lot of you guys are thinking about it is. So just hang in there for you guys who need little messages of hope, hope and things are shifting and they're coming to you that are necessary for you to heal, grow, transform and change. As always, I'm Ashante Fernandes with Gemini Holistics, and this has been your weekly reading for November 5th through the 11th. Love you guys. Peace and blessings. Bye-bye.